The first video of the attack itself. It shows the speeding car moving at high speed along Westminster Bridge. A woman is thrown from the bridge into the river below. This, the horrific aftermath. Bodies strewn across the bridge. A dead woman under the wheels of a bus. The attacker's vehicle that had ploughed through pedestrians along the pavement crashed into the railings of Parliament before the attacker, armed with a knife, set off on foot, breaching the outer perimeter of the Palace of Westminster, murdering one policeman before being shot dead himself. Overnight, in a suburb of the Midlands city of Birmingham, police carried out raids at the property where they believe the attacker's journey began. On Thursday morning, a police spokesman gave this brief account. Hundreds of detectives have been working through the night, and during that time, I can confirm that we have searched six addresses and made seven arrests. The inquiries in Birmingham, London, and other parts of the country are continuing. These images show the suspect being treated before he died. The investigation will focus on his preparation, his associations, and his motivation. And in Westminster itself, on Thursday, a government, a city and its people determined to go about their business. And at the Prime Minister's urging, Parliament convened as usual, observing a minute of silence in the House of Commons. Tomorrow morning, Parliament will meet as normal. We will come together as normal. And Londoners and others from around the world who have come here to visit this great city will get up and go about their day as normal. They will board their trains. They will leave their hotels. They will walk these streets. They will live their lives. And we will all move forward together, never giving in to terror and never allowing the voices of hate and evil to drive us apart. Police Constable Keith Palmer, father and former soldier, stabbed to death just metres inside the vehicle entrance to Parliament. He's being hailed a hero. The desperate efforts of Foreign Minister Tobias Elwood administering CPR, not enough to save his life. On the bridge, two people were killed, dozens wounded, some gravely. Now basically we were just coming across the bridge and then we just heard a bang and then we just saw three people in the road. And then someone called out if anyone got first aid experience and couples went running to help see what could. I could hear screams and then we heard gunshots again and as we looked along the bridge, because we were only crawling along the bridge, there was bodies, literally. It must have been about ten, ten, bo ten bodies. Least. This video, taken by the former Polish foreign minister, showed the attempts made by members of the public to give first aid to the casualties, even before the emergency services arrived. After Brussels, Paris, Nice and Berlin, this was a day Londoners feared but somehow knew would arrive. The security services have foiled multiple attempts, but there are few challenges so great as an individual, possibly acting alone, armed only with deadly conviction, a car and a knife. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, London.